Hi, I'm Larry Lunder, field agronomist with Pioneer Seeds in Western North Dakota. And today I want to talk to you about a very important part of your weed control program, and that is incorporating a pre-emergent herbicide into that weed control program. Now, oftentimes we hear, I don't like to use a pre because it might not rain, which is the case. It's not the case this year, but some years that is the case. But what adding a pre-emergent does do for you is it brings additional modes of action for weed control into your field. It helps you with troublesome weeds that have been shown to have been resistant to many of our post-emergent herbicides, such as kochia. Also what it will do is it will help you to maintain your post-emergent herbicides longer as we don't continue to develop resistance with other weed species that could become troublesome within our fields. Now, currently we have resistance to things such as glyphosate, uh, many group two herbicides such as the sulfonated ureas, and many group one herbicides such as the ACCs, which are common, commonly used for grass control and things such as small grain. In order to maintain the chemistries we currently have on the market, we will need to be very judicious in our management of these herbicides. So incorporating a pre into those systems will be critical in order to do that long term. We are demonstrating many of these pre-technologies and what they can do in our enlist executive plots across North Dakota and Northwestern Minnesota this year. And we invite you out to visit those on our tour dates in July. And I will leave you with one more thought, and that is cleaner fields will give you bigger yields. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.